And we do have this uh, Voyager project, which is a uh, India's controller for Kubernetes. Actually, this is our first project that you know we kind of open sourced many years ago, back in 2016, uh, late 2016. I think uh, right now the project is pretty stable, as the India CBA has been stable and used in production various places. So uh, one of the things that is happening, exciting thing in the Kubernetes ingress world is the, the new service gateway API. Uh, so this API has been you know, iterated by the Kubernetes upstream project uh, you know, actively. So right now they have a alpha API. So they had alpha V1, alpha one, then they kind of replicated that had a V1 alpha two API. And, and frankly, we're looking to you know, wait, waiting for them to kind of get to a beta status before we explore uh, supporting it because you know as you know that uh, you know alpha apis sh you should really shouldn't be using alpha apis that are coming from the upstream kubernetes uh, because 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 the support there is really like no proper support and sometimes alpha api doesn't even go to production ever right uh, so that's why uh, we're you know so that's why we're kind of uh, waiting for them to sort of iterate and get to a stable place so this is kind of like ingress v2 and looking to add that, and and also the part of the cross cluster, uh, you know, things that we are discussing or kind of talking about, uh, it will be also important in that respect, right? Let's say if you are running all your databases in one cluster and then want to access from a different cluster, maybe even in the same region, like how you do those, how those TCP connections are exposed, and all of that, especially if you are on prem, which uh, quite a few of our uh, important or big customers are. Uh, like, you know, we want to make sure that, you know, like we have a clear cut answer for all of them. They don't have to think about those things.